What's up YouTube? Hope you are doing really fantastic. I am back with a new color grading tutorial in the DaVinci Resolve. This time for the latest video which I shot in the barber shop with my hairstylist. And he did a hairstyle transformation for the model and he changed the hair color to a sexy white color which was really fantastic. You can see the before and after transformation b-roll in my shorts video section. So for this tutorial I'm going to show you the color grading process. It was not a heavy color grading, just some a minor color correction and some small steps in fixing little bit of the things which again totally makes a huge difference in the final result. So without any further ado, let's dive into the DaVinci Resolve and see what we achieve. So here we are in the project, I have imported the footages and I am going to select one of the plans, it's not important which one you are going to select because in this project all the sequences were shot with the same lighting so you can select one of them and just apply the final effect to others. So we are not going to face any big issue here. I'm going to turn off the use project settings and for the format I'm going to select the timeline frames per second to 25 because my video was conformed to 25 frames per second. It was shot in a slow motion but I conformed it to 25 frames per second and for the color tab I'm going to use the timeline color space as DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. I will explain it later in the tutorial. Now let's go to the color tab. I will start creating my nodes. I want to create seven nodes here for this project and the first one is going to be CST and the last one also CST. The second one is going to be my lift gamma and gain and the other one is going to be yellowish hair. The other one red skin and here the last one we need. So I will start by the first node CSC, I go for the color space transform, I put it here and for the last one again the color space transform. I want to do this project uh, in a color space managed way so I am going to use the first one and the last one node as my color space transform. This was shot in s 2 so for the input color space I am going to use the s gamut and for the input gamma I am going to use the s 2 here. Output color space is going to be DaVinci white gamut because we are going to work in a DaVinci white gamut zone in between these two nodes so I select DaVinci white gamut and the DaVinci Intermediate. As you see, we do not see lots of changes here because we have to set the last CST also. For the last CST, the input is going to be DaVinci White Gamut because we set it here to DaVinci White Gamut. It comes here and we at the end again for the input we have the DaVinci White Gamut zone so we select the input color space as DaVinci White Gamut and the input gamma also DaVinci Intermediate. Now for the output color space you are going to select the color space which you are going to export which is Rec 709 for social media and every other screen and for the output gamma again we select the Rec 709. As you see now we have a proper conversion here you can see the before and after. Now we are going to start the color correction and the color grading process. So I go to the lift and gamma and gain. Let's zoom into the footage and let's go with the gain with the lift excuse me. I want to decrease the shadows a little bit to give the t-shirt some contrast and for the gamma I want to add a little bit to the mid-tones uh, to make it brighter and for the gain I just want to give it so much more punch guys because this is a, a video with some lightning effect at the back uh, which we need a punchy look effect to make it really pop so I give it uh, so much gain here plus 14 and for the mid-tone detail I want to add a little bit more texture as you see if I increase it we add texture I do not want to go so much because it makes it really bad Maybe I just want to add a, a little bit of mid-tone detail I think it's enough and now let's go to the HDR here I want to add a little bit of saturation uh, to give it again some pop and as you see I'm adding saturation not so much I do not add so much saturation but again this video is something which needs a little bit of pop so we add 30 saturation and for the temperature as you see this video is a little bit warm and the thing in this video is the hair should be white and it's really important to have that white effect in the hair so I'm going to decrease the temperature and make it cooler around I think 700 is 
good in my opinion if you have a good temperature on the skin and the hair of the model again we see a little bit of uh, yellowish because it was new and we need to fix this with the yellowish hair note so i'm going to again play a little bit with the tints also here i just want to add a little bit of tint to make it more magenta i saw a little bit of green as you see if i go back you see a little bit of green i want to add a little bit of tint I think it's enough and this is enough for the lift and gamma and again you can see we made a little bit of difference but it turns the footage so much better you can see and here is a before and after until here now we go to the next node which is the yellowish hair I want to remove this yellowish tones from the hair uh, what uh, I need to do is to use my qualifier to select this part of the hair as you see I click here and I turn on the highlights to see what has been selected. As you see, it has also selected the skin. We have to narrow down this selection to hair. As you see, I want to narrow it until we only have the hair. As you see, I think it's enough now. We have to refine it with the saturation and the uh, luminous. You need to play with these settings. And for these uh, noisy areas, you just need to play with the matte. Uh, you need to clean the blacks and clean white. As you see here, just play with these settings. You, you might want to play with them to achieve the result you want. And you want to give it much blur in order to make it soft and go to the second tab also be sure to use the denoise it's a really good option you do not see noise when using the qualifier and as you see i have a good selection in my opinion and now uh, i go to my uh, curves hue versus sat and i click in the yellowish area as you see it creates a point i want to move the left and right point in order to make it soft I bring them back to the zero and here is our problematic area I want to decrease it and as you see as I decrease this we get a better white hair you can see how beautifully we remove that yellowish tone from the hair it makes a huge difference it's a, a small movement here but a huge difference guys now it's done for the yellowish hair note let's go to the red skin so here why i created the red skin note because i saw a little bit of redness in these areas i wanted to fix them it's a small movement but again i think it makes a huge difference especially when the model turns the head you will see a lot of redness in his ears so i'm going to select the red skin note and i go to the hue versus hue and select this area as you see it creates a point for you and i will rotate the hue just a little bit to around minus five or six around six and as you see we have really beautifully and naturally fix those rednesses again it's a small movement but makes a huge difference you can see in his ears we have a better color again which in my opinion is a big movement and these small steps all together makes a huge difference now before the vignette i forgot to create a note here for the tones i will press the alt s and create another note for the tones and for the tones note i want to give this footage a little bit of a cold look it's a little bit again warm in my opinion i want to make it cooler so i go to the primary wheels and i will select the primary color bars and for the gain i want to decrease the reds and as you see it uh, makes the footage a little bit more cyan and i will want to decrease the greens again i want to remove the greens and just want to add a little bit of blue again it's a small movement but as you see it makes the footage more cooler and as you see the hair is now more white and i don't know if you can see these changes in the youtube but here i can see a big change and if i enable and disable all the nodes you can see how much difference all these little steps made here now for the vignette it's my favorite part again i want to create a vignette node and make it soft and i will revert the mask to add the vignette effect to the around of the footage and here I just want to add vignette as you see it makes the footage much more 3d and i really love this effect as you see we have a beautiful 
3D effect around the picture. And as you see now, you can see the full before and after. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial guys. As you saw, we did not make big changes this time. As I said, color grading is not always about making huge changes. Sometimes small steps make a huge difference in the end. I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.